Hello everyone, I am David at filmlooks.com. In this video, I will show you how to apply some very neat Super 8 mm film grain over digital footage into Adobe Premiere Pro. So, let's get started. First thing, what we're gonna do, we're gonna duplicate that source image. And we're gonna lay it over, a duplicate layer. And now, follow me to these steps for that top layer. We're gonna first go to channel, invert. I'm gonna drag the invert effect here. After this, we're gonna go to image control and we're gonna do some black and white here. Next step. We go to Burn and Sharpen and we're going to add a Gaussian Blur to that top layer. Now, in the FX settings here, the blurriness for the Gaussian Blur is going to be 50%. Okay. And what does this all mean? You'll see. I go here to uh, the Blend Mode and I'm going to make it Overlay. Boom. Okay, so if you look at this result and we compare it to the previous source, okay, you see there's a little bit difference here. So now what I'm going to do, we're at the uh, step of the film grain. So there you go. Okay, this film grain is authentic uh, Super 8 millimeter film grain that was a uh, scan. Uh, this is like one of the very, very grainy files that we have in our Super 8 collection. It's a real nice collection we have at filmlogs.com. So, why is it so grainy? Because it's an experiment I made by uh, uh, shooting uh, in a very low light environment on a black cardboard. And that's what I got as a result. So, what we're going to do with this, we're going to go to blend mode and we're going to make it overlay. So this is kind of a little bit dark, yeah? don't you think? So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to go to color correction here in the effects. And we're going to make it brightness and contrast. As for the settings here, we're going to make the brightness at 55. And the contrast at 23. And after that, as for the opacity, we're going to lower it down a little bit. It's kind of a little bit too grainy. So we're going to make it 77. So uh, that's pretty much it. 